and one. It's the holiday season and a lot of us have already lost a lot of weight leading up to the month of December. But we know what happens with the month of December is that slowly the treats start to creep in. Slowly we start to engage in the festivities and slowly that weight creeps on. And so this video I made for you today is how to get on point with weight loss during the holiday season. Now when it comes to being on point with your weight loss, the first thing we have to understand is your workouts have to be non-negotiable. Now I know most of us are getting busy and we're really tired and we're staying out late normally than we would, but we have to grind through this month and we have to make our workouts. So if you don't have the time to get in your car, drive the 10 minutes to the gym, do the 20 minute workout, drive 10 minutes back home and still get kids lunches and get ready for work, then what you need to do is start your day with the virtual win. At Fit Club, if you're not a member already, we offer virtual workouts that we have that you don't even need equipment. You could literally do a body weight workout. It's fantastic. You're following along with us, the coaches, and it's a great way to start your day with the win. So even if it's all abs or cardio or all weights, that's gonna give your body the boost that it's gonna need to keep your metabolism high, to keep your muscles activated, and so that you continue to burn calories even as you overconsume calories over the holiday season. The second thing is that you should always start your day off right. I know people are gonna bring cookies and cakes and little dainties that they made because they wanna show their love to you, but they don't know that you're in a fitness journey and they don't know that you wanna be in shape and you know, they, don't want, they don't know that you want your results to stay permanently. And that's okay, we, we still love them and I still want the treat, so if you're not gonna eat it, bring it to me, I'll eat it, I know Jerome will have one or two. So we wanna start our day with the green shake. No matter what you do, make it a part of your morning routine. As you're making your coffee, I want you to blend up your green shake. So for those of you that don't know what it is, is you just take a nice solid handful of spinach, put it in your cup, put some ice, grab the green. So G-R-E-E-A-N-S that we sell at the gym because it's got all the superfoods and it tastes super good with the spinach. Put it in there, put a little bit of ice, water, blend it, and make that. Even before you touch that little dainty or that baked goods that your coworker made for you, have your greens first, so at least you're starting your day off right. So now we've got two wins. You've got your workout, and then you've got your greens. And then the third thing is that if you can, during the weekday, stop eating at 7 p.m., okay? Because if we stop at 7 p.m. and we make that a hard stop, then we're not forcing extra calories on us. Because if you're not out at an event, and you're at home and you're just snacking, well now you're just forcing that food into you and it's unnecessary because that food is gonna be presented to us throughout the day while we're at work or while we're about doing our thing and what ends up happening is we are just eating extra calories that we don't need. So if you had your snack already or you have a nice treat during the day, that means after you eat, you cannot have that snack, okay? It's about creating balance. It's about enjoying yourself. Enjoying yourself means that you had that snack at noon when people brought it in for lunch but that doesn't mean that you have it at night because if you're having that snack after you ate dinner, you're no longer in balance, you're in an abundance. And you're in an abundance of calories, which means that you're gonna gain a bunch of abundance of weight and fat. So if at 7 p.m. you're still hungry, then have yourself some EAAs, okay? EAAs taste great, they're sweet, it's gonna give you that satiation that your body's actually craving for without adding a bunch of calories in you. Now, if you're still hungry, then go ahead and have a protein shake. And if you're hungry after that, then just focus on protein. So have your meats and then, you know, just eat like broth, right? Like yesterday I had bone broth. I had bone broth, put a couple things of like, we were cooking up little chunks of steak, mix in the bone broth, ate that, I was good. So we just have to be able to find a way to cut the cravings late at night. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna have a massive dessert or a massive meal at night just because you feel a little bit hungry. Now when it comes to the weekends, you have to create balance. So if you know you've got a family event or some kind of work party or whatever it is in the evening and you know that you want to enjoy yourself and you want to have a bunch of calories then, then what you need to do is not have it during the day. Again, life is about balance, right? We're all trying to create balance, but yet we all want to try and enjoy ourselves. But if we're picking out first thing in the morning and we're picking out in the evening, guess what we're gonna become? Little piggies, okay? So you have to create that balance. Whereas you cut the food during the day and then you have the food at night. What I wanna do is I wanna give you some healthier snack ideas, okay? So if we're getting all these junk snacks, but yet we still have sugary cravings, then what I've done is put together a super easy meal prep snacks for you. It's in the link of the description. Click it, enter your name, enter your email. There I'm gonna give you these super easy meal prep snacks.